I couldn't find a video on how to do this, so I'm making one. We need to join two 3-inch pipes in the ceiling. They are not movable. They are not moving. They are fixed to the rest of the structure. So we need our own pipe to add in with two slip couplings to join this gap. First, measure the pipe to fill as closely as possible the gap between the two existing pipes and cut it to length. Install a hanger that will be able to hold the pipe at the correct height when put in the hanger. You'll take two slip fittings, removing the inner burr because that will mess up your cement. Cover the messy side with tape. The messy side is going to be the side facing the structure's existing piping. So it's opposite on the other end. You're going to mask off an inch and a half because it's a three inch coupling, an inch and a half from the end to the existing pipe to keep this nice and clean. This is going to get covered in cement. <clears throat> so let's see. So we're going to put the slip fitting on. And we're going to put this pipe into its hangers. The first operation is going to be just one end at a time, and we'll wait for this to solidify before we do the other end. Mask off the floor underneath it for messes, and newspaper in the belt to protect your shorts. All right. Focus on what I'm working on there. You want a lot of material to be pulled. Is it, is it running? It's running. Okay. Yes. Okay. You see a clock? What amateur hour? All right. All right. So, so you want a lot of extra space here. So when this moves, it's going to drag that material with it. We're going to start, however, on the side of the structure. Feel your way around back there, zigzag, get it all purple. Probably should have started on the top, not the bottom. That's fine. Okay. and forth to get the back side. Okay. Now with the cement. Get the whole thing covered. Quickly is the name of the game. Oop, a little bit of waste is okay. That should be covered enough. Put this stuff over and while spinning, <clears throat> push that over the other pipe. And to the tape mark like I said earlier. There. And that should stay in place on its own. A little bit of duct tape would have been smart to put up there, but I'll just hold it for a second or two so it doesn't move. One side down. Do the other one in a second. Side. Same thing down here. Starting on the 
fixed side because if that one's hard to push over, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter as much as this big long section on the right. In fact, it's probably good to go in this direction like this as well for the same reason. Face shield is a smart touch as well to keep this stuff out of your eyeballs. Now for the glue. We do two coats just like the other side. We want this slip fitting to drag over and push with it all this shit the, from what will eventually be on the right hand side of this slip fitting. We want to drag it under and seal with it. I'm gonna let it sit extra. It's gotta be dripping down there when I do it. Because why not? There we go. Twisting as I go, and it's on. So, just for shits and grins, I'm gonna put a little bit of extra on the back side of this. Oops, that should have been cement. Pretty sure that's fine though. Just fill that gap that I left behind. Normally you would not seal the back side of the fitting like that. These ones were dragged up. I should have taped it too, but I don't think it's gonna move. The slip fittings are not beveled like other fittings, so I don't think they're inclined to move. Probably gonna stay exactly where it is, but Get some tape on it. Be good luck. All right. So I think that's done. You take off your gloves now. I bet that's gonna hold. That's how you do. Bridging a gap of between two stationary pipes using two slip fittings, and I'll call that a bridge pipe.